Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk to you about my winter TBR. So I want to share all the books that I want to read basically in the first quarter of the year. So winter for me is just January, February, March just to keep it simple. So I have chosen a couple of books that I will put on my book card as like the priority TBR of the season. I don't usually like to do like very strict uh, monthly TBRs, but I enjoy doing seasonal TBRs because I am a mood reader. And so I usually have some books that I associate more with winter. So we'll see uh, how many of these I will actually get read. <laughs> this is the amount of books I would have to read uh, in a season or for winter right now if I wanted to completely reduce my TBR to zero this year, which I will not be able to do. I can already tell you that. But um, Let's just get to the books. Um, there's some that are more high priority and some where I feel like those still might not get read, but I'll tell you all about that now. Now, starting out with my reading goals, I have one series that I wanna read in winter and that is the Gilded Wolf series. So we have the Gilded Wolves, the Silver Serpents and the Bronzed Beasts. And uh, all of these three I would love to read in winter. I hope that they're like very magical and fun. They got compared to uh, Six of Crows when they came out. So I hope it's just the a similar kind of like magical feeling with these, but they're set in Paris, I believe. So that will be quite interesting as well. And yeah, I want this to be the first like a series, new series that I've been this year. Then for the five new authors I want to try this year, I decided to go with two of those books for the winter season. And I don't own them yet, so I will probably get this first book as an ebook just because I still don't know how, how I would actually hold it as a real book. And that is The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. So yeah, I'm very excited to read this. It has been on my TBR for a very long time, so I definitely want to get around to it finally and I think putting it as a reading goal is actually quite helpful with that. So as I said, I'll probably get that as an ebook. And then we have Passing by Nella Larson. Again, a book I don't own yet, but uh, yeah, this is one of the classics I wanna get to next year or this year actually. <laughs> so I'm very excited to read that one as well. Now moving over to my actually owned TBR that I want to reduce. Um, the first couple of, bo of books I want to share with you are all part of a series and for most of them I actually want to reread the other books. But for the first one I think I'm fine just getting into this one right away and that is The Light Fantastic by Terry Pratchett. Last year I read um, the first book The Color of Magic so this one follows the same main character and I actually really want to know what happened to him because the first one ends on quite the cliffhanger. And this would be the second book in the Discworld series. Then the one I actually want to start the year off with um, is uh, Bitter and the uh, first book in that series is Pet by Aquaka Messi. So I've already read Pet last year, but I want to reread it and then read this prequel, which came out last year, Bitter. So I'm very excited for this one. And it's luckily quite short. Then one that is kind of like my book of shame, because this is the third book in a trilogy and I want to reread the first two books before I get into this one and that's what really holds me back. But this is The God of Lost Worlds, this is the final book in the Hell's Library series by A.J. Hackworth. And then the last sequel I have here is the second book uh, to Legendborn. This is Bloodmarked by Tracy Dion. This was my most anticipated book last year, so I definitely want to get to it very quickly. But I also want to reread Legendborn before I get into this one, so we'll see whether I actually get that done. Okay. 
Then we have one book that is the first in a series, but I think that this is not a series you really have to binge read. And that is Before the Coffee Gets Cold by Toshikatsu Kawaguchi. And yeah, this book I got as a gift. It has been all around booktube, so I'm intrigued to see how I like it. Um, and it has a cat on a cover, so we love that. And then two YA standalones I'm uh, quite excited about. The first one I also had for a very, very, very long time, and that is Only Ever Yours by uh, Louise O'Neill. I've read a couple of books by this author, really enjoyed them, so I definitely want to read this one. And this is usually uh, considered a Handmaid's Tale retelling. And more on the fantasy side, we have Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. I read her first book last year in January or February and really enjoyed it. So I think this will fit the mood quite well this year. And then I have a couple of more books where I feel like those are the ones where I'm not quite sure whether I will get to them, but all of them have been on my TBR for quite a while now. The first one is The Hunchback of Notre Dame. I actually had this on my autumn TBR but didn't get around to it and I'm still not quite sure whether I will this time but here it is. The next book I got for Christmas last year and I'm actually really excited about this one. It's called Fragen, die mir zum Holocaust gestellt werden by Hedi Fried and this is a book by a Holocaust survivor. Then also a book that has been on my TBR for so long and I really want to get to it because I really want to watch the show as well, but it's just so big. <laughs> and that is Alias Grace by Margaret Atwood. Again, I've read two books by Margaret Atwood before, so I think I will like this one. I just have to read it. Then a book that I got for my birthday two years ago. Uh, this is an Italian book called Acht Berge uh, by Paolo Cognetti. I think in English it's called Eighth Mountain or something like that. So yeah, I have no idea what this one is about, but I really like the cover and I really want to get to it. And now the card is full, but we still have more to go. <laughs> One book I just want to give my mom back because she lent it to me so many years ago. And it's also a conclusion to a series. This is Matters of Choice by Noah Gordon. And lastly, a book that I also got as a gift. I don't really have any interest in reading it, but I'm also really bad at unhauling books that I'm not interested in, especially if they were gifts. So this is The Unglückseligen by Thea Dorn. Um, I just put it on here <laughs> for good faith. And then there we have it, my winter TBR. So I hope this time around I will be able to read more books from this than last year, because last year it was kind of a fail. But then for some reason I put Priory on here, so I don't know. I, I feel like I'm setting myself up for failure. <laughs> But I'll definitely keep you updated. I will do a wrap-up video of this TBR once winter is over, so sometime in April, and I will let you know how it went. But yeah, let me know if you've read any of these books, if I should prioritize any of these, and I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye!